Hello and welcome to the video. It is time for my weekly bench update, which hasn't been so weekly lately or very updated on the bench, but uh, here we are. We've had a couple of weekends out of town. We had the NNL North and then I had the videos following that throughout the week. And then that led into Memorial Day weekend, which was again another trip out of town. We did some camping with the family, so that was nice. That was a long weekend. And then rolled into this week, which was kickoff for my group build, which is Cars of Our Past. If you'd like to get involved with that, please check out the announcement videos or hit me up and get a link to add your videos to that playlist. And what that playlist is, is a playlist that gets added to every participant's channel, but everyone's video gets added to that playlist and then is kind of a mirrored or combined playlist. So no matter whose channel you're on or which playlist you click into, you can find everybody that is involved with that group build right there in the playlist, all in order and easy to find, easy to watch. But uh, speaking of my group build, again, that just kicked off on the first, so I haven't touched my kit, which is the Revell 64 Impala, which I'm gonna be doing a replica of my first car, which was a 64 Impala two-door hardtop. Again, it's never too late to jump in. By all means, do it. We'd love to hear some stories and some, maybe some replicas. But speaking of projects on the bench, we have the Scale Build of Gentlemen, which is hosted by Paul over at Styrene Relics. Hope everything is well with Paul over there. Haven't heard much from him in the last couple of weeks. But we are thinking about you and hope everything is fine with you. Let's check out the kit. Uh, we've been kind of adding some weathering and details here and there trying to add some of that uh, kind of beach sand or salt to the tires and different parts just getting some dust and grit and grime going and then we'll do some more once we're assembled again just kind of adding in slowly some grit and grime into corners as if stuff had blown in there and is drying up we got the wood grain going in the bed some spills, some stains, a little bit of weathering. I don't want it super beat up, but I definitely want it to look like a well-used race car. Here is the cab. Again, getting some kind of grime built up in the, the nooks and crannies. We got some wearing going up to the coil. It's looking good. Again, we got some dust and weathering going on. Let me get the lighting here. Getting it dusted in on the inside. We've got the dash and gauges going there. And speaking of interior, we got our seats in with some seat belts. Again, we got some sand and grit going on on the floor. Look behind the, the seats. I think it's looking pretty good. We'll add more once we are all settled in. And to the, the main part, I've been working on, again, just slowly adding some weathering, some grime, giving it some use without getting real crazy with it. I think the biggest challenge has been the linkage on the carburation. I've had like three different nights and several configurations trying to get that photo etch linkage to look good. Get that to focus in good but you know finally satisfied with how that's looking we can get that tied in and ready to go and finally reach the final assembly which i think will be throughout the next week or so and i think the next video on this project will be a final which isn't too soon because june 11th is the final of the scale build of gentlemen group build so fingers crossed that we make that on time and with that, thanks for watching.